Bienvenidos. Welcome to another episode of Spain on a Fork. Today, we have one heck of a great show. We're making what I consider to be the most delicious summer zucchini salad. We're talking una ensalada de calabacín a la andaluza. Now, this is a recipe that hails from the region of Andalucía in the south of Spain and a dish that's filled with so many beautiful flavors. It's sweet and savory. It is absolutely delicious. But the best part, as always, is how easy it is to make. No tricky techniques, no special equipment. And it's all done in just 15 minutes, folks. This is what's simple and delicious food is all about. Let's begin by grabbing a large fry pan and heating it with a medium heat. While the pan is heating, I'm going to cut one zucchini that's been washed and patted dry into thin rounds that are half a centimeter thick, which is a little under a quarter inch. As for the size of the zucchini that I'm using, it's about 12 inches in length, which is 30 centimeters. Once the zucchini has been sliced, let's move back to the fry pan. At this point, it should be nice and hot. And once again, we are on a medium heat. I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 30 milliliters. And we'll add in one clove of garlic and mix it around continuously. What we're doing right now is infusing that extra virgin olive oil with the garlic, which at the end is gonna give this beautiful zucchini salad a nice pop of garlic goodness, but without the garlic overpowering the dish. Once the garlic is lightly sauteed, you don't want to brown it too much, otherwise it can easily give a bitter flavor to the olive oil. I'm going to remove the garlic from the pan and discard it for the rest of the recipe. Then I'm going to add in half of the slices of zucchini. I like to saute them in two batches, that way you don't overcrowd the pan. And we'll mix the zucchini around, that way each slice is coated in that garlic infused olive oil. And it's very important to mix the zucchini around continuously, that way it doesn't brown and it all evenly sautés. After about three minutes and the slices of zucchini are lightly sautéed, they are ready to go. You don't want to overcook the zucchini, otherwise it's going to get mushy. You kind of want the zucchini to have an al dente texture. I'm going to start removing the slices of zucchini from the pan, making sure to shake off any of the excess olive oil and transferring them into a large bowl. And we'll cook our second batch in the exact same way. Once all the slices of zucchini have been lightly sauteed, I'm going to set them aside that way they can slightly cool off. In the meantime, I'm going to measure out a quarter cup of pine nuts, which is 35 grams. You can also use blanched almonds here. And one third cup of raisins, which is about 50 grams. You can substitute the raisins for dried cranberries. Now using the same pan, I'm going to lower the fire to a low heat. And we'll add in the quarter cup of pine nuts and the one third cup of raisins. And once again, very important to mix the ingredients around continuously. That way they don't brown too quickly. And we're just going to go for about 30 seconds here on the pine nuts and the raisins. That way they can get nice and fragrant. After about 30 seconds, I'm going to remove the pan from the heat and add the pine nuts and raisins into the bowl with the zucchini. Then I'm going to grab about 10 leaves of fresh spearmint. You can also use mint here. Tightly roll the leaves together and finely chop them. And we'll add in the chopped spearmint into the bowl with the rest of the ingredients. Then I'm going to finely grate the zest of half a lemon, making sure to avoid that white pith as it adds a bitter flavor. and we'll season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give it a gentle mix. That way all the ingredients are evenly mixed together. And once again, remember to be gentle here. Otherwise you can easily break that zucchini apart. Then we'll transfer the salad into a serving dish. And we'll 
top it off with a kiss of finely grated manchego cheese. Check it out, our Spanish summer zucchini salad is done. Once again, known here in Spain as una ensalada de calabacín al andaluza. Super easy to make and came together in about 15 minutes. You know, you can serve this at room temperature or even add it into the fridge for a couple hours and serve it chilled. That way all the flavors can develop. Either way, let's give this a try and see how it turned out. All right, folks, time for the moment of truth. Let's see how this salad turned out. In my opinion, this is one of the most beautiful looking dishes we've done here on the show. Here we go. Wow. It's exotic, it's delicious. But the beauty here is the texture of the zucchini. It's not mushy at all, it's nice and firm. So important when you're sauteing it to mix it continuously. And the flavors, you have that spearmint with the raisins, the pine nuts, and that lemon zest are truly the most exotic flavors ever. Sweet and savory, absolutely delicious. A classic dish from the south of Spain. Give this a try home and I promise it is gonna completely blow you away because it is that good. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Rogelio Jr. Rivera, Wesley Harlow, Elaine Engros, Natalie Schuster, and Brian and Skeever. And guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button as it really helps out the channel. Leave me a comment below and don't forget to share this video with your family and friends. That way our Spain on a Fork community can continue to grow. Till the next time, hasta luego.